Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man, and I want to welcome you to our edition of the C-Man's Cinema Sit-Down. I swear, HBO and Warner Brothers doesn't pay me any money, but today's kind of becoming an HBO Max today. Uh, we've already talked about um, Raised by Wolves and the Murders at White House Farm, um, both really, really good series on HBO Max, and now we're getting ready to take a look at a trailer for an upcoming HBO Max original movie, which is actually a remake of a 1990 classic. What are we talking about? Why don't you pull up a chair, take a seat, we're getting ready to take a look at the first official trailer for The Witches. That's right, man, The Witches are back, and for those unfamiliar um, with The Witches from 1990, it was a Jim Henson production, uh, starred Angelica Houston uh, as the head of all the witches that are in the movie um and basically it, it kind of follows uh, a kid and his grandma something terrible happens to his parents so they go on a trip uh to england and while they're out there um you know they kind of stumble into this witch conference um and the grandma knows all about witches kind of tells the grandson all about them so he can be prepared so when he's in the hotel he starts to notice that there are some witch things going on and that kind of leads us to a story where he, with his grandma, want to try to stop all of these witches, whose plan is to exterminate children. Witches hate children. And their plan is to exterminate all of them by turning them into mice. Um, so I'm fascinated to see uh, what we get as far as a reimagining goes and how uh, close it'll stick to uh, Roald Dahl's book that the, the movie was actually based off of. Um, I, I can't wait to see what we get with uh, Anne Hathaway. Uh, looks like she's going to be playing the uh, grand head uh, witch uh, uh, in this, which was Angelica Houston's role. And I just recently rewatched uh, the movie. Uh, I'm working on some Spooktober stuff, uh, and hopefully I can pull it off. It's going to be a lot. Um, but I, I rewatched it for some of that stuff, and the fact that you know the trailer, uh, you know, had come out, I was like, oh, that's a really good way to kind of bring that into what I want to do for Spooktober. Hopefully we'll be able to get all that and pull that all off. But keep your eyes out uh, for that stuff. But while I was rewatching it, a couple things immediately jumped to, to mind. Um, one, Angelica Houston has a very uh, interesting accent in the movie. And it made me immediately wonder if Anne Hathaway will try to do an accent. Um, it's one of these things where... Uh, one of the last movies I saw in Hathaway in uh, with Rebel Wilson, it was like a, 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 an acting display of different accents, and it wasn't great. Um, not that not that Anne Hathaway can't do the accent, but I just thought it kind of detracted in that movie. I'll be interested if she goes in with her own voice, tries to come up with something that's closer to Angelica Houston's. Um, also interested to see if they tweak anything about the story, try to modernize it uh, a little bit more. Um, but I, I'm definitely a, a excited because I, I think this could be a big win for HBO Max if this movie uh, works out as well as hopefully it does because I know that there are a lot of fans of The Witches from 1990 out there. So let's not waste any more time. Let's bring up our trailer. There we are. All right, man, we're ready to take a look at the trailer for The Witches. Uh, so let's not waste any more time and see what HBO Max and Warner Brothers is bringing to this classic Roald Dahl story. My story begins when I was a young boy. Already a twist I like. Come to here. And your mama's all wrong. I do anything for oh, to be here right now. That's great. I love Octavia Spencer. I was a tough lady with a big heart. And little by little, she brought me out of my sadness. Hmm. <laughs> I love Octavia Spencer. I didn't know it. But there was a dark shadow. Oh, movie. yes. Look at the witches. That's the other thing I can't wait for. That looks... I can't tell if that's the true form or a headdress. I don't know. Here they come. There's Zan. And they hate children. Ooh, scars on the face. That's new. What would you do if there were mice learning all around us is so dead? I would call the exterminator. You see, girl? He would exterminate those brats. Uh, rats. <laughs> he would exterminate the rats. I love Stanley Tucci too. But the, the accent's working for Anne Hathaway. I like that. This was happening. Then here, that means a test is coming. Ladies, I have a plan. Andro, the transform a child into a mouse. This is spot on right now. Oh my! Well, that was different. Whoa! Why are we mouse? And three mice. Okay. Grandma, it's me. Is that you, boy? 
We'll never let you get away with your filthy, evil plot. Who's gonna stop me? Doesn't matter who you are or what you look like, so long as somebody loves you. You wouldn't happen to be carrying around a mouse on your person, now would you? A mouse? Mm -hmm. Why on earth would I be carrying around a mouse? <laughs> Dude, that looks awesome. Good on you, Robert Zemeckis. He really, really captured every essence of the wishes you could possibly ask for uh, with what we got in that trailer there, dude. Like, this looks like it is a spot-on reimagining of the story. Like, it, it's hitting all the story beats, the elements, the look, the feel, the vibe. This feels and looks like the witches that I certainly know. Um, outside of the fact that Anne Hathaway has a scar on her face... Very interesting to add those. I, I wonder if that'll play into the story at all. Um, also immediately made me think of the Joker, um, which obviously part of DC, which is part of Warner Brothers properties. So I don't know if that played into it, but that's an interesting choice. But nevertheless, adds to the creepiness of, of, of the Grand Head Witch. Um, so I'm about that. Um, that just looks really good. I love the twist uh, of, you know, what back in the 90s was basically an all-white cast. Let's get Octavia Spencer and, and a little black kid and have... Like, the older version of that kid tell the story and use Chris Rock. Genius. Genius across the board. I love all of that. Um, Octavia Spencer, one of the best in the biz. Uh, and she looks like she's perfect for the grandma role. Like, as soon as she popped up, I was like, that's perfect casting. And the kid, granted, we only got a little bit of him as a kid in the, the movie. But I think he should do, looks like he's going to do a fine job. I love uh, Look of the Mice. Um, obviously, when you were working with the Jim Henson production back in the 90s, all the mice were little puppets um, to make them move and articulate and speak. So I thought they captured that element to a degree inside the look of the mice, if that makes any sense. So I thought that was really cool. And Stanley Tucci, I love that man. Having him run the hotel, perfect. That whole line, like, if you had a mouse infestation, what would you do? And he's like, well, we would exterminate them. Well, exterminate the brats. He's like, you mean rats? Like, Genius, man. They're doing everything that this story should call for, man. We're turning kids into mice. I think that's going to lead to some craziness. Uh, I, I won the transformation also. Way different looking uh, than in the movie. In the movie, it was green smoke. Here it looks like purple boils, which is creepier. Um, so that looks fun. Um, and I can't wait to see what the true form of the witches are. Um, we saw that shadowy figure lurking outside of the house. I couldn't tell if that's her, like if it was a head wrap of some kind or, or if it was a true form um but the true form of the witches is disturbing and drastic in the 1990s version the the, the makeup and get up they put angelica easton in for that movie is nuts um so i'll look very uh much forward to uh what the true form of uh you know anne hathaway is when and if that happens uh in the movie and you can see i mean they're all wearing the wigs they're, they're scratching they got the skin ah it's perfect everything i wanted in that trailer was in there, and I cannot wait for October 22nd when we dive into the new version of The Witches. Um, that looks like a lot of fun. I'm certainly pumped. The question is, are you, man? Uh, what are your thoughts um, about this trailer? Uh, do you think this knocks it out of the ballpark, does all the things you want from a, a, a remake of The Witches? Um, where were you in 1990? Were you watching The Witches? Are you a fan of the original? Uh, is it something that you didn't want to see a remake, but now that it's happening... What do you think about, you know, the trailer? Do you think this is something that's going to work? Um, is this something that could get people to go to HBO Max if you're not a subscriber? I've asked this at the end of all my videos today. Um, is it enough to 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 make you want to go, hey, you know what? I'll pay for it for a month to check out The Witches. Um, anything you're thinking about the trailer, HBO Max, the original, whether there should be one, if this one looks good or bad, down below in the comment section. Look forward to talking to you down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out with the C-Man as we approach October 22nd and the witches and, you know, maybe be in if I can pull off my Spooktober stuff. Um, you want to be here for all that? You want to show a little love support you haven't yet? You don't know what to do? Come join the C-Maniacs, man. Jump over there, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell that follows if you want those alerts. And until next time, for the C-Man, sit him sit down. I'm the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Well, I'll be. You guys are still here. You must be looking for some more content. Well, don't worry. C-Man's got you covered, man. You got videos like this guy and this guy. And if you haven't yet and you want to come check out all the C-Man goodies, join the Cinema Sit-Down Squad, man. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell down below that, too, so you can get alerts every time I make new videos.